Mangadang Hapan, good afternoon. This is Jai Hakwabo. I am greeting you from the United Kingdom. Nice kung pasalamat ang aking sisters, sestra, the Society of Trans Women of the Philippines for this invitation. This afternoon, I have been tasked to deliver the Trans 101. Simple lang aking gagawin ngayong hapon. Um, Magkukot ako, sisipi ako mula sa konstitusyon ng strap. Ilang termino lang na kinakailangan ito malaman hinggil sa trans identity. And then after every term, I will explain. I will try to clarify every terminology. All right? Let's start with gender identity. Gender identity refers to each person's deeply felt internal and individual experience of gender, which may or may not correspond with the sex assigned at birth, including the personal sense of the body, which may involve a freely chosen modification of bodily appearance or function by medical, surgical, or other means, and other expressions of gender, including dress, speech, mannerisms. Okay. So sinasalim ko ang gender identity sa Filipino bilang pagkakakilan lang pang kasarian. Uh, yung gender sa Romance languages, katulad ng French at Spanish, um, uh, Portuguese, genre in French, Genero in Portuguese, genero in Spanish. Uh, may sasalian natin yan sa Filipino into kasarian, root word sari. So um, kung sa genre or genero, gender, uh, may, uh, as in literary genre, musical genre. So may aspect siya ng classification na pag-uuri. Di ba? Yung mga bagay-bagay. Uh, in uri uri, they are classified into one kind and another. Ganun din sa konsepto ng kasarian, right? Sinasari ang kung ano ano, kung sino sino. But uh, what I like about this concept of kasarian, gender in the Filipino language, is its concept of diversity. Kaya nga meron tayong salita na sari sari, di ba? So, um, Yes, you classify, but you also diversify. Yan ang kasarian. Ano naman yung gender? Simply put, this is one's characterization between masculinity and femininity and beyond. So tayo, we are socialized into being masculine or feminine, a combination of, of both, Kung hindi man, uh, beyond ba? Kung tayo ay non-binary. So that's gender, all right? Um, let's accept that particular definition for now. Identity naman uh, is from the Latin identitas. Ibig sabihin, sameness. Pagkakapareho. Uh, but the, this particular notion of identity that we are referring to in terms of gender identity is one of difference, right? So, um, pagkakaiba. So, parang napaka-ironic, di ba, na yung definition of identity is to become one and the same. I don't know kung anong iniisip nila noon. Pero, nag-evolve itong notion of identity into a marker of differentiation. Kumbaga, gender identity, gender identity kung, kung gaano ka kaiba, kung gaano ka, ka unique ba. I hope uh, that's clear for now. Try natin explain mamaya. Yung gender identity, uh, maaring uh, ilagom sa tanong na how do I perceive myself? Paano ko ba kinakilala ang aking sarili? Uh, maraming tao, uh, yung kanilang gender identity in harmony with their, yung tinatawag nating sex assigned at birth. Pero para sa ating mga trans people, trans persons, ako bilang isang trans woman, hindi ito um, 
um, hindi akma yung aking pagkakakilala sa sarili ngayon at simula noong nakilala ko ang sarili bilang babae sa tinatawag na sex assigned at birth. Why assigned? Kasi nga, di ba, sa uh, delivery room kung saan ipinanganak tayo ng ating mga ina, wala pa naman tayong muwang. Pero because of what the doctor in the room had seen that particular time, you know, yung proverbial na sina, it's a boy, it's a girl. Right? Kung ano yung ari na nakita, yun ang inassign sa atin at na ilagay sa birth certificate, M or F usually, di ba? Yung particular assertion ng trans discourse, may misalignment. Okay? Hindi uh, akma, hindi nag... Um, hindi tama yung um, na, hindi pa rin nasa parehong pahina pa yung sex assigned at birth at yung gender identity. Yung pagkakilala sa atin ng doktor, ng ating mga magulang, ng ating mga kaibigan, ng lipunan, hindi siya tumatama, hindi siya tumitimo sa kung paano natin kinikilala ang ating sarili. Malinaw pa. Right. So um a powerful uh, concept within trans discourse is to reclaim this identity. Yung tinatawag na doctrina ng self-determination. Uh, I refuse this particular biological destiny. I want to live myself out in the world. I want to fulfill myself according to this particular gender identity. And for me, it is that of being a woman. I am a woman of transgender circumstance and experience, but a woman nonetheless, and even more. So, um, ito yung uh, um, pinagsisikapan natin ipaliwanag na kung ang kasarian ay isang social construction, you know, uh, babae, lalaki, non-binary, um, at lahat paman, ano paman, ito ay nililikha ng lipunan. Sabi nga ni Simone de Beauvoir, one is not born a woman. You become one, right? So kung ang gender o kasarian ay isang construct, ito ay isang artificial, let's, say, let's use that word, na kategorya ng identidad, ganoon din ang sex, ganoon din ang ari. Diba? Hindi porket ito ang nandoon nung ipinanganak ka, yun na ang destino mo. I hope that's clear at this point. Sexual orientation. Sexual orientation refers to each person's capacity for profound emotional, romantic, and sexual attraction to and intimate and sexual relations with individuals of a different gender or the same gender or more than one gender. Okay, let's unpack that. Tinatanslate ko tong sexual orientation into pag-ibig, pagmamahal, gugma, pagkamuot. Pagkamuot, that's in Bicolano. Uh, the word sex is derived from the Latin sexus. Ibig sabihin, being male or female, dalawa lang. At ito ay related sa isa pang Latin word na secare. Ibig sabihin, to divide, to separate. So talagang binary binary noon pa man, right? Yung, uh, uh, because you are a male or a female, uh, yung, itong tinatawag na sexuality, right? Is your propensity to be attracted to the opposite or the same sex or to many sexes, right? So it's a matter of attraction or repulsion. Uh, yung word naman orientation, I love that word kasi it um, intimates kung saan ka ba nakatuon or nakatutok, right? So, ito yung uh, assertion, right, ng LGBT discourse that 
you know, um, one can fulfill oneself through one's sexual orientation, right? Pero siyempre, because of binary discourse again, ang nahagawian, maging heterosexual lang. Right? Kung ipinanganak kang lalaki, so to speak, dapat attracted ka sa babae. So, balit, uh, yung udyok ba ng pandama, ng damdamin, is, it's very personal, right? For example, uh, kung ikaw ay isang trans woman at yung nais mo, gusto mo, isang babae, cis woman man or trans woman, may karapatan ka na i-fulfill yung desire na yun, right? So, sa ganung klase ng setup, ikaw ay isang trans lesbian, a trans woman attracted to other women, right? Pwede ka rin maging bisexual trans woman, and so on and so forth. Third, gender expression. Gender expression refers to all of the external characteristics and behaviors that are socially defined as either masculine or feminine. Dagdag na natin yung non-binary identity chain, such as dress, mannerisms, speech patterns, and social interactions. Sinasalin ko itong... Uh, expression, gender expression, bilang pagpapahayag ng kasarian. Again, because I'm a literature professor, I always go back to language. Expression is from the Latin expresso, which means a pressing out. Pwede natin translate bilang palabas, right? Palabas as in coming out, going out. Also, yung teatro, pagtatanghal. Pelikula, cine, right? A projection, right? Into the outside. It's also related to the Latin presentatio, presentation, which means to exhibit. Yung nasa definition ng strap uh, constitution, uh, gender expression is about pagpapakita, pagpapahayag. Ito yung visual, auditory, corporeal performance of gender. Idagdag natin dito yung importance ng pronouns, right? Yung, yung she, her, hers, he, him, his, they, them, theirs. Yung wika is very important here. Names, your affirmed names are very important. Kaya naloloka tayo kapag minimis gender tayo kasi ibig sabihin, hindi nagmamatch yung pakiramdam natin, tungkol sa ating sarili, yung paano natin ipinapalag ito, sa kung paano tayo tinitingnan ng lipunan, right? So that's very important. Transgender or trans, trans asterisk, trans at. Transgender is an umbrella term that is used to describe a wide range of identities and experiences, including but not limited to Pre-operative, post-operative, and non-operative trans people, male and female cross-dressers, sometimes referred to as transvestites, drag queens or drag kings, individuals with, with intersex characteristics, and men and women regardless of sexual orientation, whose appearance or characteristics are perceived to be gender atypical. In its broadest sense, transgender encompasses anyone whose identity or behavior falls outside of stereotypical gender norms. Wonderful definition. Yung nais ko inagtag dito yung distinction between uh, the uh, prefixes, affixes, trans, and cis. Ibig sabihin lang ng cis sa mismong lugar, sa lugar na ito. Right? At yung kabaligtaran nito, trans, sa kabila, sa ibayo, right? So, kapag sinasabing uh, cisgender, dito ka lang sa kung saan ka pinanganak, komportable ka doon. Kapag sinabi naman transgender, 
uh, lumilipat ka, pinapalitan mo, right? You cross, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a crossing. Isa siyang, well, let me use, let me use the word as well, passing, right? It's, it's one of the senses of passing, right? Naglalakad ka palayo dun sa inassign sa'yo, sa ibinigay sa'yo. Um, dahil ang, ang umbrella term siya, isa siyang uh, salitang uh, niyayaka, right? It embraces a lot of uh, identitarian possibilities ng maraming posibilidad ng pagkakakilanlan. I really like the translation of identity as pagkakakilanlan mula sa salitang kilala, right? Um, I, I want to add na... Um, All right. Um, my element lagi ng non-binarity, right? Na, na uh, kapag nag-cross, lumipat, pinalitan ng tao yung kinagis na niya, um, may element doon ng, na hindi na siya nasa kahon, right? Nasa binary, right? When, when she or he becomes... someone else. Hindi nila lamang siya, hindi siya maaring ikategorya katulad ng mga babae o lalaki na sis. I hope that's clear. Um, dahil nga, dun sa proseso, sa procedure, sa, sa paraan ng pagiging babae o lalaki o lampas pa doon sa dalawang kategorya yun. Subalit, All right. That said, there is validity of binary choices from within transness, right? Kapag sinabi ng trans woman na mas babae ang tingin ko sa sarili ko kaysa trans, valid yon, right? May mga trans woman naman na na is na ipakilala sa sarili bilang trans woman. gamit yung dalawang termino yon, may um, mga non-binary non-binary trans naman, right? so parang um, uh, non-binary trans femme, so parang uh, maraming posibilidad. Uh, pero ang kinakailangan lang natin recognize dito yung distinction between cis and trans, right? yung cis lumalagi lang na nanatili sila doon sa doon sa sex assigned at birth. Right. So, balit tayo, lumalayag tayo. We travel, we trespass, and claim that particular trajectory, that particular path or procedure of becoming. Right? Uh, transgender people. Also, trans persons, refers to people who perceive a misalignment between their assigned sex at birth and their gender identity. Female to male trans FDM people are assigned female at birth, but have a male gender identity. Male to female trans MTF people are assigned male at birth, but have a female gender identity. Many, but not all trans people undergo medical treatment to change their physical sex through hormone therapy, gender affirmation surgeries, or other gender affirming medical procedures. So, take a moment. Before I make a comment, uh, ito muna ng um, konsepto ng pagkatao. Ang nais kong bigyan ng the in. So, I like this definition of transgender people and or transgender persons because it emphasizes humanity, the humanity and personhood of trans women and trans men, trans feminine, trans masculine persons, right? So uh, I like this because it, while it is based on gender, lumalayo, uh, lumalagpas ito sa kasarian, right? Uh, tao rin ang mga trans people, right? Persona rin. Um, 
person is from the Latin persona, a mask. So, nandun yung, ano, yung element ng gender, di ba? yung characterization. In old French, interestingly, person meant a human being. Right? Gusto ko rin yung konsepto ng people kasi from the Latin populus, it means tayo bilang mga, mga taong trans, we uh, comprise a collective. Right? Isa tayong community o pamayanan. We establish kinships, uh, partnerships, collaborations outside the notion of a biological family and establish other networks of relations, right? Based on passion and compassion, right? Nalampas dito sa blood relations ito, right? So marami tayong mga soul sisters, soul brothers within the trans community. Last term is trans pinay. Trans pinay is a combination of the words trans and pinay and refers to a female human being of Philippine descent who was given male sex assignment at birth. All right, uh, trans pinay was coined by our org, STRAP. For me, uh, this is very important because it attaches trans identity to the Philippine nation state. Gaano man ka violent o karahas yung relasyon ng mga trans people at ng bansa ng bayan, right? Uh, I believe Dr. Brenda Alegre and Dr. Mikey and Don Campbell will discuss this particular trans ancestry. Ngunit uh, mahalagang isipin na uh, bago pa ang kolonialismo at nasyonalismo, mahalagang miyembro ng ating komunidad noon, yung unang panahon, ang mga tinatawag na trans people ngayon. Uh, trans people occupied um, the divine order dahil naniniwala ang ating mga niluno na uh, may access ka sa mga Diyos, sa mga batala, mga bataluman, kung mayroon kang feminine intensity. Right? So, um, yes, there's trans pinay, but let us not forget um, words in, uh, in our languages, which already refer to elements and aspects of trans identity. Right? Nandyan yung bayog, yung asogs, yung daitan, sila yung mga, mga trans priests, right? And um, yung mga, mga priestesses, right? Uh, yung binabae, yung bakla, bayot, bantut, agi, right? So um, uh, these terms are also umbrella terms. They may embrace other forms of identities, including homosexual identities. Pero maraming mga trans women sa ating bayan actually um, are, you know, embrace these terms more than trans and even woman, babae. So, balit yung, yung kasaysayan ng, for example, binabae at baba, babae, right? Um, magkasabay siya. So, yes, um, lahat ng quotes na ito ay uh, mula sa, yung definitions mula sa constitution ng strap at uh, appendix lang. Um, it, uh, if you are a visual uh, learner, um, recommended ko yung um, na tingnan yung, yung image, yung larawan ng gender-bred person. Uh, uh, yung mga ipinilawanan ko kanina, nandun sa diagram na yun. Alright, so um, I'd like to congratulate Strap for this um, summit and uh, I'd like to greet um, uh, my sisters in the Philippines and um, in the world, right? Attending the summit and colleagues who are also presenting. Um, I'm very sorry, I won't be able to, um, I won't be there with you live dahil alas 5 yata na umaga dito sa Birmingham yung um, slot ko. But I hope to be able to engage with you um, folks in the future, all right? 
Maraming salamat, Yosa Mabalos.